Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize performance using virtual memory on your Windows 10 computer. So this is definitely advisable for those that are running under 4 gigabytes of RAM on their device, and it should hopefully be able to speed up your computer a little bit. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. You want to type in system. One of the best matches underneath settings should say system. You want to left click on that. On the left side here, left click on advanced system settings. Underneath performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory, left click on the settings button right here. Now you want to left click on the advanced tab. Underneath virtual memory where it says the paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM, left click on this change button right here. Uncheck the box where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Left click inside the custom size area right here. For the initial size value, I'd recommend setting it to the recommended value right here, which in my case is 1151 megabytes. And now for the maximum size, I recommend going back into the system window right here. It should tell you how much RAM is installed. So I'm going to open up a calculator here. So keep in mind there is 1024 megabytes in a gigabyte. So 1024. And we have two of them. So that's 2048. And now what you want to do is multiply whatever that value is. So however many megabytes of RAM you have basically. I'm going to multiply that by 1.5. And the 1.5 number is not some specific magical number. Some people go higher, some people go lower, but that seems to be a good number for me. And that happens to come out to 3,072 megabytes. So I'm going to go back into the screen right here. And I'm going to type in 3072. Again, this will depend on your case-by-case -case basis, but just keep that in mind. Once you've done that, click on the set button by left clicking one time. And then left click on OK. You are going to have to restart your computer, which is OK, but just keep clicking on Apply and OK, and then OK again. And I've already said it, but you are going to have to restart your computer, so I recommend closing out of any open programs or applications you still have on your screen at this time, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.